all right welcome back everybody happy holidays i'm gonna start a little installation here going while i talk so one of the things we've always wondered how feasible it is is to create a bluefin lts built on uh centos stream instead of uh just fedora kind of just to round out the model line i guess there's definitely a use case for people who want uh, less churn in in their operating systems uh more so for the enterprise linux side but you know this this project is more about desktop -y stuff so i've always wondered if a workstation os kind of thing is is a place where blue bluefin can live um and i was i was always interested in kind of like you know competing with ubuntu lts and see see what we can bring to the table um so for a while i've been talking to carl george who works on centos and we've been kind of kicking around the ideas and doing that kind of stuff and then i uh, saw the announcements for centos stream 10 how they're planning on doing that and they opened up epel 10 which is where the extra packages are going to go and it started to really uh, percolate in my brain and then uh tulip and and james uh showed up and said hey we should we should try it uh especially now with uh, there's a few reasons to try a we have three years of experience making these things already so they should be relatively straightforward to make i can make a custom image about 20 minutes i made uh, i made bazite cosmic in like 10 minutes um but it's it's also one of those things where it's like sure you can make it but do you want to support the thing right uh so we wanted to do a prototype uh, so we did and here it is this is using all the latest stuff it's built from the ground up uh, using Bootsy uh, natively directly. We call it a Kilobator. This is a code name. It's kind of the prototype of what we think uh, a Bluefin LTS would look like. So um, it took about 24 hours to make. A lot of that was the artwork. And while we were doing that, we found a lot of places in Bluefin itself where we can generalize things. So Tulip went and packaged up all the artwork. Uh, into RPMs and things like that to make it a little bit more generic. That way we could have things maintained in one spot um, instead of copying and pasting things everywhere and, and in between all of our images. So that's going to be very useful and will speed up the project um, quite a bit. So uh, you've probably seen this before if you use Bluefin. It's the, um, uh, the first run wizard. This is built on CentOS Stream 10 instead of uh fedora so a little bit further down the line we're using bootsy image builder which makes the isos for us um and as a result of that the isos um, come in much smaller uh this comes in at four gigs uh, rather than the six and uh some themes and stuff we still gotta fix but uh no worries there so there's no flat packs here uh, right now so we have just a quick just to make that happen there's a pull request happening in anaconda as we speak that will add uh, flat packs to the installer and that will make it much much easier for us we're working on a github action so that if you have a custom image you'll just be able to hook hook into this get your list of flat packs and then you'll be done forever so we've got that going on there so while that that finishes off let me let me talk a little bit about um a kilobator here um there's really not much to say we wanted to rebuild bluefin from the ground up we didn't just want to copy everything over uh, bluefin's been around for like th three four years now it's been a while um and one most of the early parts of bluefin are workarounds for things that we didn't have yet in rpm os tree but are now coming into dnf slash bootsy so we kind of looked at it and said let's not just copy everything over let's build it from the ground up and see what it looks like and as we did that it kind of ended up 24 hours later we were like wow we're we're done pretty much um we're not done done uh we haven't done nvidia yet uh there's no dx developer experience edition yet epel just opened up so it'll be a while before some of those packages start to populate we are thinking this will be an alpha for like a while probably all spring uh relton's not even coming out until the spring so we've, we've got plenty of time to look and see if we even want to do this um these enterprise linux streams they run for three to five years of support right is that something that a volunteer organization wants to do we're not sure 
Um, but it is very interesting to learn the tech and play with it and do that kind of stuff. So we were able to replicate it almost one for one. And while the flat packs get installed there, if you look here, uh, you, you name A. Uh, for a little while, this had a newer kernel than Fedora, which was interesting. So it's on 6.12. It's in GNOME 47. So the packages, uh, it's the same version of GNOME that's in um, Bluefin now. So now that both CentOS and Fedora have matching versions of GNOME, it's easier for us to bring all of our packaging over and things like that. So we use copper to make all of our uh, RPMs uh, for Fedora anyway. So we turned on CentOS Stream 10, spit out all the, the RPMs and started installing them. And look, they work. And um, Carl George has been helping us by putting the things that we need into EPAL 10. Um, so as that repository and stuff fleshes out, it should be good to go. For a while though, we're just gonna run like this with the one image. Not gonna work on NVIDIA or DX um, anytime soon. But uh, yeah, it has brew and everything. Uh, let's see, let's do, I don't think we have all the U blue uh, recipes over yet. So yeah, there you go. If you wanted to install Zellige, that is how you do that, or Zellige, however you pronounce that. So. Yes, it's interesting. I've got it on an old ThinkPad, of course, and um, I've got it on an Asus machine there. It will be very interesting to see how we plan on doing this. We we haven't met yes, yet as a team uh, to discuss this. It was more like, is this even possible? Will we even want to do it? But we, we finished the prototype way faster than I thought we would uh, because everything's just so much better. The tooling's better. The experience is better. And we're able to do this. Uh, we're relatively new people very quickly, which is what you want to see. Um, so we're going to kick the tires on this uh, for a little while. Uh, we're publishing these daily. For the kernel, we're thinking we will probably just publish a separate tag with newer kernels. I'm not sure on that. Also, not really sure what the GNOME lifecycle is going to be like on Enterprise Linux. Like, Sure, if, if all my hardware works and you're not giving me any regressions, I'm totally fine with uh, with an older kernel that's just getting the point releases. Um, but sometimes I just need to have that new GNOME. And uh, I don't know, three years on one version of GNOME. I haven't, I haven't done an LTS release in a long time. So that, that will be something that will be interesting to try out. And of course, you know, since this is cloud native tech, we can always source from anywhere. So if we wanted to, we can... Um, grab and update packages as we see fit. But we're not really sure what we're going to do here. Would you, you know, usually for something like that, someone who wants an enterprise Linux workstation or whatever, they know exactly what they want, you know, and it's like the ultimate don't mess with it. Um, so we're, we're really not sure where this is, this is going to fit yet, but daily driving it, it's, it's pretty good. We're not going to rec we're not recommending rebasing at this time. CentOS stream, actually recommends a different file system layout entirely than Fedora, which does ButterFS, CentOS does XFS. So we know no one's testing rebasing between Fedora and CentOS. So we're not going to be first on that one. So we are just going to tell people you're, you're not, you're not going to rebase. We're not putting any of this in the rebase helper or any of that. But usually I think if, if you know you want an LTS style thing, uh, you probably know ahead of time. Uh, so yeah, I will leave a link in the description below. We have a thread on this. If you want to leave feedback, uh, and the full, the full ISOs there, I'm recommending VMs for now. Uh, you run, um, you know, we have the command there. If you want to install the flat packs and things like that, we're probably going to start to slim down a bunch of things. There's a lot of stuff that I don't want to bring over that were old workarounds and tulip has been generalizing a lot of the packaging and actually shoving them into RPM packages so that we can have consistent artwork. Uh, between uh, the two versions of Bluefin here. And also generalizing our RPM packaging in general. So that when you fix a thing, you don't have to go fix it in Aurora, Bluefin, Akilobator, and then Bazite. So there's there's a lot of generalization going on. A lot of, um, over the holidays, a lot of streamlining of stuff. A lot of deleting, which is what I want to see. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you've had a great holidays. And uh, give it a shot. Let us know. Thanks.